Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabrielle. In today's video, I'm going to be putting on a 360 wig. This is my second 360 wig that I have tried. The first one, um, I didn't really think that that was how it was supposed to be after watching other like reviews on YouTube. So hopefully this one is going to work the way it's supposed to. The wig that I'm going to be putting on, the 360 wig, it's from Y Wigs Hair Company. I have... Um, you know, tried some of their wigs before and they were good. So I am trying their natural wave, which is very similar to a water wave texture. Um, this one is a little bit unique because of the fact, which I'm going to show you right now. It has this little band. It's like an elastic band, except for it looks more so like a bra strap, like what you would hook it on, which is pretty cool. So you can tighten it here. And if you want to take this whole band off, you do have that option to doing that. And then it also comes with the adjustable straps right here. So you can even tighten it more in the back. And then it has, I believe the, yeah, five, six combs. How many combs? Like five combs. Yeah. It has five combs. So like this wig, oh my goodness, it has so much security. So that's pretty dope. And it is long. I believe it's like 24 inches, I believe. And the hairline looks like it has been bleached. And um, it looks like it's pre-plucked because it's not as dense in the front, which is really, really good. As you guys can see, I know it's like almost like washing out, but I guess it's good so you guys can see the knots and everything. But it looks like it has been bleached and everything, so that's really cool. Okay, so I'm going to cut the lace around the entire unit, and then I'm going to put it on, and we're just going to get started with this install. <laughs> straps to the tightest it literally is so snug on my head I was actually pretty shocked it does go ear to ear and that is freaking awesome because the other 360 wig that I tried did not so I really like how that was and I also like how it was so easy to finesse the lace I put my contour powder on the lace in the front between the baby hairs and i feel like it just really like did it okay it, like i feel like it did it um and they did a really good job at plucking this unit 
I literally, like you guys already saw, plucked the bare minimum. One thing that I will say is that this hair feels like it's maybe 150% density. I'm going to go ahead and check, but make sure when you're watching this video, go ahead and look down in the description box because I'm going to leave the details there and that's where you're going to really find out the density of it. But it feels like it's 100% or 150% density rather than 180. Um, it's not super bad. But if you like really, really thick hair, you might have to like finger comb it a little bit. So that's what I've been doing to, you know, try to get it to be a little bit more voluminous. But if you um, are someone that likes their wigs to be more um, natural looking, then this is obviously perfect for that. And um, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, this texture is very similar to Water Wave. I would say that it is just a tad bit less wavy than a Water Wave, but nonetheless, like, I would definitely still rock this in this natural state. Um, Y'all know me. I love wavy and curly textures, so when I get them, I try not to put heat on it, like, for me personally, but I know there's people out there that do, but... It looks really stinking pretty <laughs> in its natural state. Okay, so that's all I have to say for this video. Um, you know the jazz. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all of that, okay? Um, and I will check y'all out.